here with David Donk at his barn, barn 30 on the back stretch of Saratoga. David, you have yes and yes going today. How's the horse been training? And uh, what are you looking for in this race? Yeah, he's in really good form this summer. Um, you know, pleasant surprise. Won his last three. So, I, listen, he really likes Belmont Park. So, I think he's a little better suited to the six for along seven eighths of Belmont. We're a bit stuck here where to run him. It's five and a half too short, is a mile too long. And he's not eligible for much else now. So this is a logical spot. Uh, challenge him a little bit, let's test him, and let's see how good he is. But he's in really good form, and uh, I'm really curious to see how he'll handle the step up in class. Horse came off, uh, it's three for three this year, but had quite a bit of a layoff from last year. This, any reason for that? Yeah, listen, he was, uh, he's owned in part by Phil Gleaves, and Phil retired from training um, and had him last year. He just said he had a minor issue last summer. He wasn't happy with him. Um, you know, he's a really nice horse last year. He ran a couple of big races and allowance races. So he gave him the time off, and, you know, he sent him back to me ready to go, and uh, he's just been in good form since. I got to ask you, you're one of the smaller barns up here at Saratoga, but you're a New York guy that's been doing it for a very long time. How many horses are you carrying at the Saratoga meet? Yeah, I, I'm split between here and Belmont. I, I carry 24 here and I bought that or a little less at Belmont. So it's kind of my routine and what we do every year, uh, switch some horses back and forth and, and, and it works for me. In terms of two-year-olds this year, anything that you're really excited about? You know, I've got a bunch of two-year-olds. I'm a little bit behind. I had a lot of horses get sick earlier in the year, some buck shins. Um, my fillies are a little more forward than my colts at the moment. So I've got a few that we're getting ready. Um, I've got a New York bred filly by Carol Prince that's decent. Um, I've got a couple of open fillies for Bob Spiegel um, that we've had good luck in the past for their pedigrees on the grass. So. Um, I'll know more in a few weeks. The uh, this, this Saratoga meet, there's there's been a little bit of talk. Some of the fields came back a little small. They couldn't fill a two-year-old filly race the other day. Any concern with these small field sizes up at this meet? Well, listen, it's an in issue in the industry. And it has been for a number of years. Um, the big stables are really big. Um, and I don't blame them. Uh, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's uh, about owners. Um, so, you know, some of the horses, it would be better off if they were dispersed a little bit more. You know, I've, I've been around a long time. Um, you know, I came to New York 37 years ago to work for Woody Stevens. And, you know, we had 36 horses and that was a lot. So, you know, um, I'm not sure how you address that. Um, obviously, I think there'll be a little bit of an issue to address the stakes program across the country. But, um, Listen, that's for racetracks, uh, upper management. Uh, um, you know, we have got a lot of great owners in the industry for them to get their heads together and how do we, you know, what can, we, can we make changes? Just one last one. You, the, I've heard you speak about it before. Horses can run more than a lot of people run them. Sometimes people, you know, they're running three, four, five times a year and you run horses a lot more than that. What's the philosophy behind that? Uh, boy, it's not only if it's philosophy. Jeez, it's, the game has changed. It's, with all due respect, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm a couple of generations removed from you and a lot of other people. I mean, I'd like to say people are brainwashed, the younger people. You know, they can't run them every seven, eight weeks. Um, you know, I, obviously, I come from a different era where, you know, when horses are in good form, you run them. Um, I'm in New York year-round. Um, I have a lot of grass horses. My grass season is from early April till late November. Um, I need to make hay while it's green. So, you know, I, I'm not, the, the game has changed a lot that way. And uh, it's, I'd, I'd like to say it's brainwashed younger owners and they think these horses can't run as often, but at the meantime, they can breeze five or six times. So yeah, it's, it's, that's an issue as well as maybe the size of the stables that control too much, um, but that's the way people are brought up now. And so that's what they know. Um, and again, I've come from a different era and, you know, we weren't afraid to run them. Um, when they're good, beat them over there. Good luck with Yes and Yes today and the rest of the meet. Thank you very much. Here with Julian LaPeru, uh, back up in Saratoga. How are you feeling to be back in town? Feels good. Happy to be back. You know, it's been a couple of years we missed the, the meet here. Um, but I'm very happy to be back here, for sure. 
You got a nice mount coming up in the Furbed Napa this week, a mirror mission. Uh, just missed last time out, uh, napped right at the line. Have you been on the horse since the last race? Uh, I've, I've walked him at Churchill, I think once, uh, but he's doing good. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good race though, you know, but he, he's always uh, competing very nicely and uh, hopefully he ran a, a nice race for me. Uh. You've shown really good success on the turf up here this year. Are there any races or horses you're really excited to get on this meet? Well, hopefully Mira Mission and uh, hopefully both horses like uh, Static Fire and Mira Mission runs good for me uh, this weekend. Any horses that you're looking forward to? Uh, any big stakes races coming up? You've had some good success uh, in, in <coughs> Churchill this year, a couple times just second out. Uh, anything you're looking forward to? Well, I mean, I, I'm looking forward for the whole mid, to be honest, and see uh, what we can do uh, and ride a hopefully good two year olds and stuff like this. So we'll see, see what happens. Last question for you. Uh, a lot of the talk about Saratoga this year being the most competitive jockey colony we've ever seen before. Um, the top riders in the country are all here. We've seen the numbers and entries coming down and down in smaller fields. What do you think you're going to do to put yourself ahead to really get these best mounts? Uh, listen, it's a very competitive uh, jockey colony. I mean, we have guys that's on top of the leading standing right now in the country. We're here to, to try to pick up something, you know. It's, uh, we know it's going to be tough, but we're here to, to fight for it. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Here with Ian Wilkes uh, coming into the Saratoga 2020 meet. Has a nice uh, horse running tomorrow, Mira Mission. How's the horse been training? Good, good. Um, I freshened him a little bit since his last race, and everything's been spot on. Very happy with him. I spoke to Julian yesterday. He's excited about the mounts. Had just missed that last time out. Thinks the opportunity here on this turf could be really good for him. Another horse in, in your barn that, that's shown a little bit of strides this year, Walkathon. Uh, back in training, I saw. Any plans for that horse coming up to Saratoga this summer? Probably not. She'll probably run in the pucker up at Churchill. They have the Arlington Million Day, and there's a three year old filly. So I'll just leave her at home base and keep her there. Any two year olds for the Saratoga meet you have coming up that you're excited about? I've got a couple. I got uh, our dream ride. Um, I think uh, more than ready cold. He ran once at Churchill. I think he's a pretty nice cold. I'm kind of looking forward to getting him on the turf and stretching him out. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. No problem. Wesley Ward, first win of the Saratoga meet. How's it feel? It was great. You went on opening day at Saratoga. This is where you want to be. This is the place you want to be opening day at Saratoga in the inner circle. So it's, it's no place better. Second time out, horse changes from turf to dirt. What did you see? She showed early on that she had an affinity for both surfaces, so we just chose the grass um, early on for, it's a, it's a kinder, easier surface today, but we had a little bit of a rain shower, which also helped her, you know, helped carry that speed a little bit, so, you know, everything was in our favor today, as far as, uh, you know, with, with that rain coming over the track, just helped get her, get, let her get, get, get over it pretty quick, so we're, we're real happy, everybody's happy. Twilight Gleaming coming up this, uh, this tomorrow, how's the horseman training? Training great. Very excited to see that one run today. Uh, any more two-year-olds? You know, you had some two-year-olds you pointed to Keeneland this year. Do you have any two-year-olds that you're pointing directly to Saratoga? Yeah, we have quite a few coming up. Um, I kind of went a little easy on the two-year-olds the first part of the year, so, you know, my better ones will be coming out here at Keeneland. Appreciate the time. Thank you.